Hello everyone, um, well it's bank holiday Monday afternoon here in the UK and it's really quite blustery outside although the sun is shining and it's very clear and um, I, so I still understand that uh, my guy who's over there in Florida at the moment have just started to have the last day or so of sunshine so the torrential rains have stopped and they're out and about. Anyway, today I wanted to talk about defining your purpose and we spoke yesterday briefly about how goals are very different to purposing because your goals are acknowledgements that you are en route to um, achieving your desired purpose in life. So goals, let's not get those mixed up with a purpose because goals can be those materialistic things like your dream car or your dream house or your dream holiday or an Apple iMac or an Apple iPod, you know, interim goals that are acknowledging that you are doing the right things, you are on the right path to achieving your purpose in life. And I think it's true to say that with any business and with anything that you set out to do in life, it's absolutely impossible to achieve what you set out to do unless you know why you're doing it. So today we wanted to talk about outlining and defining your purpose. And I wanted to give you some tips and get you started um, with doing that right away, sort of right now, today, really. Now, most people don't actually realise that when you write something down, as soon as you write something down and you're committed to what you've written down, that's actually committed then to your subconscious mind. And most people don't realise that once something is, is committed to our subconscious mind, the subconscious accepts it as a given. So it takes it that what you're passing to it is true and is factual. So sometimes we go through life and we might think, well, why is this happening to us? It's because in your subconscious you've committed a thought process into your subconscious mind and what, what deli what's delivered into your subconscious mind is then delivered into your reality. So that's really quite an awesome point to remember there and something that you might want to really give some serious thought to because when you hear about um, thoughts that create feelings and feelings create actions, that's where the, sub the power of the subconscious is actually coming into play there. So be very careful about what you give, give your, um, what you feed your mind with, what you spend your time, your time thinking about. So... Your life's purpose, when we're thinking about writing that down, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely unending. So if when you're writing down your purpose, it's got a full stop at the end of it, so to speak, it, it's not the real reason why you're doing this. It's not the real reason why you're wanting to set up your, your home-based business or it's not the real reason why you're wanting to run a marathon, okay? So you need to then give some thought and some further clarity as to as to what you need to to deliver in terms of your real purpose. So your your real purpose is is never ending. Okay, so it has to be so big that it's that it's never ending, but it has to be something that you will feel very passionate about. So it's it's the absolute deal breaker as to what triggers you to get out of the morning and be the difference between you thinking mm, I'll work my business today or I might not work it today. So it's got to be that big that no matter what you won't allow excuses to stand in the way of your purpose. And that's really quite important. So what I'd like you to do is to take the time now, whatever time you need, to write out a clearly defined purpose, your clearly defined purpose and your reason why. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you what my purpose is. Um, it's going to be there for you to have a look at on the blog. You'll read it and you all, all I want you to do is to really get some little tips from there and some little bits of inspiration, some little light bulb moments that will make you think, yes, you know, that's something very similar to, to where I'm going with this. So we'll give you some idea on actually how to how to write it, because I know one of the things I really struggled with when I was writing my purpose and my reason why some time back was that I was getting my purpose very, very mixed up with my goals and and. and my purpose written down should be able to help you to understand more so what your purpose should be. So it's very clear, it's not to get your goals mixed up with your purpose there. So I've shared that with you on my blog post. Um, if you have any questions or any any concerns as to how you're going to do this, how you're going to, to, to write down your purpose, um, 
or how you're going to define it, please feel free to message me and by all means I can talk through with you and help you in whatever way that I can. But if you if you get on board with that today, um, in the next few days we're going to be talking about goal setting. So you'll see very clearly what the difference are there between your purpose and your reason why. But I can't stress enough how important it is to get your purpose outlined, get it defined. This is your reason why you're going to be doing what you're doing, whether it be operating a home-based business, whether you're setting up um, a new business venture out there in the in the wide world um, or if indeed you're doing something like running a marathon it doesn't matter what it is get your purpose and your why defined and how you're going to get there will slot into place um, and there's also one thing I did want to, to to talk about and just mention very very briefly that I didn't realise this, and I mean, I've studied psychology for, for many, many years, but even I didn't realise that 90% of um, where, where we're going um, in life, 90% is really, really governed by you knowing exactly where you want to go. And, and that comes into play with knowing what your reason why is and knowing what your purpose is. And 10% comes from how to actually do that. So... I can't stress enough to you how defining your purpose, defining your reason why is so very important. So I'm going to leave it at that now. Um, get on and do it now. Don't procrastinate. Don't put it off until tomorrow. Don't make up an excuse as to why you're not going to do your, your purpose and your reason why because this will so help you and will so determine whether you are going to be successful or not in business or whatever it is that you're wanting to do. So that's over and out for today and I'll catch up again with you tomorrow.